About this time last year, the United States women's national soccer team settled their equal pay lawsuit, so the ones up north just decided to look down and go, Hey, what's all that about? We might as well try to get a bunch of money for ourselves, huh? And in the grand scheme of things, they might have a little bit more legitimate of a claim because the United, or the Canadian women's soccer team is pretty good in the grand scheme of things, but it's still women's sports after all. So they're like a fifth tier soccer club. And, you know, given the fact that nobody cares, bro, not that long ago, like, what would that have been? Uh, the Women's World Cup before this, it took place in Edmonton, a four hour drive south. It was the home team. Um, guy I was working with at the time, uh, he was a big soccer guy from Guatemala. Hell of a good guy. He went down there and he watched it and uh, there was nobody in the stands in Commonwealth Stadium or whatever they want to call it now in Edmonton. It's the big multi-tiered, I think it can fit about 30,000 people, but it never even sniffed that because soccer uh, in Canada might be third or fourth most popular sport like it's up there but it's no hockey and even still if you want to talk about canadian women's team hell of a good team fantastic team you know very popular team but i've also seen them play like i in person i've watched i was working security at the uh, local arena here i hell if i know what it's called at this point in time it used to be the old crystal center i watched them play there when i was doing security there were more security guards working a couple dozen security guards there were more guards working than there were people in the stands nobody goes and watches women's sports i'll just say man because nobody else wants to they just all want to pussyfoot around this stuff women's sports are only popular with a couple of women some of their family and creepy broads with brush cuts and flannel shirts that's about it women's tennis is fine unless there's a man's game that goes it's a totally different sport I hear some people say that, you know, women's MMA is really good, and I remember watching it back in the cut, and it just, it's fucking trash. You know, the skill floor might have gone up a little bit, but mm, if you want to go out there and do it, if there's enough demand for it, that's fine. It's not my cup of tea. If people want to go watch it, that's great and fantastic. It just will never, ever, 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 <gasps> ever, 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 ever hold a candle to the male equivalent, but they think that they need to get paid accordingly. Like, come on, you don't draw a fraction of a percentage percentage of the eyeballs that the male equivalent does that's just facts bro so trying to make a big stink like this just because your compatriots to the south ended up you know finagling a similar deal like the skill gap between the two groups it's a little closer mostly because you know the men's team is not that great and the women's team is you know pretty good and compared to other female teams but still like the last time that the world cup came around uh, what was that that was just yeah a couple of months ago the men uh, the canadian men's team went out to qatar i don't know if those based qataris would even allow this haram behavior to take place but let's get into this canadian women make a gender equality statement by wearing purple in lost the united states at she believes cup well she better believe that there's some fans in those stands because holy the canadian women's soccer team arrived at exploria stadium wearing purple a color associated with gender equality why you know what else uh, purple is associated with regality kings in fact it is oh for its opening game against the united states at the she believes cup on thursday in orlando florida could have fooled me forward jordan humeda led the team with all the players wearing the same purple shirt the women currently embroiled in a labor dispute with their governing body taped over the canadian soccer logo on their backpacks you entitled bitches you're supposed to be there on behalf you're supposed to be representing canada and you decide to block out that logo or logo <laughs> pay your own way then fucker they walked out before the game wearing purple t-shirts etched with the words enough is enough can you make it out? Listen, I know sometimes my thumbnails look a little bit borked, but could you even see? Can you make that out in that picture right there? It's like, it says enough is enough. No, I can see that you're wearing purple and you guys look like you're not getting your security po your deposit back because your girlfriend punched holes in the walls of the place that you're leaving right now because you broke up. But being Canadian, I can't name you. Like there used to be what? Christine Sinclair? Was that her name? Like there was one female soccer player. The rest of them? Who the fuck knows them? It's not popular.
but yeah, they're going on strike because their budget's getting cut. Because you can see in the background there, that's another game that they're playing. Nobody's in the stands. Nobody cares. Normally, in the grand scheme of things, if nobody shows up to your game, you don't get it funded. Take a look at the two failures of the XFL. No, nobody turned out. Great idea. Fantastic. All that stuff. You guys, hey man, it's giving people work. But if nobody cares, if nobody watches, if a game is played and nobody's there to observe it, did it really take place at all? Chances are no, unless you're the female team, then you'll just squawk and bitch and moan and whine and complain in order for you to get eyeballs that way. Nobody cares what you're actually doing on the pitch. It's just everybody listens to you when you decide to bitch. Canadian women's national soccer team on strike over budget cuts and pay equity. Pay equity. It's not even equality anymore. Now we just want equity. Listen, we think we, we deserve as much as the men. Okay, why? Well, we do. Because men and women are the same. Okay, cool. You guys can play the men's team and then uh, the winner, the winner will get the lion's share of the purse. How about we do that? Canadian women's national soccer team is on strike following cuts to its program and pay equity concerns. Captain Christine Sinclair. Hey, she's still around. All right, then. On, fre on February 10th, the players released a statement on Twitter. Oh, they're serious this time. Criticizing the sports governing body so or Canada Soccer, stating players were told the organization cannot adequately fund the women's national team five months before the Women's World Cup. Yeah, because again, like the World Cup, the Women's World Cup, either four or eight years ago. Well, four years would have been 20. No, yeah, that would have been eight years ago, I guess. At this, Jesus Christ, I was working there at that time. Anyways, but no, the, the, nobody will know. Nobody will know. Now that took place, I think, between Edmonton and Calgary. Or maybe it was just specifically in Edmonton. See, that's how little of a cultural impact it had. If your city, if your state, if your province held the male, er, held the men's World Cup, bro, that's a cultural moment for wherever it lands. I don't even watch soccer like that, but I can run it back. And I can tell you where all of the World Cups were taking place for as long as I can remember. It's like the Olympics. It's on that level. For the Women's World Cup, or Women's World Cup, it doesn't even register. I don't even know if it have a Wikipedia page. As a team, we've decided to take a job action. Well, that's nice. They're telling you, hey, we can't afford to pay you. Well, we're going to go on strike. It's like, okay, cool. It looks like you acquiesced to our request, and now we don't have to pay you. And from the moment on, we will not be participating in any Canadian Soccer Association activity until this is resolved. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, they lost that game after making that statement. Just, just, just clearing that up. It hurts, I'm not gonna lie, she added. But it's gotten to the point, at least for me personally, because this is all, this is all what this is. This is just, well, us as women, and me personally, I want to get paid. Well, you don't perform. Mm, sucks to suck. There's no free lunches out here. Until this is resolved, I can't represent this federation. Let me just cast your mind forward to a couple of days later where you ended up losing a game, but okay. Already issued a mutually agreed and retroactive payment. Canada Soccer alleges that pay equity is at the core of our ongoing player negotiations. It added that uh, presented an equity-based proposal to our national teams and their council several months ago, and we are still awaiting for a definitive response on terms of that proposal oh so you're just trying to get public sympathy for your failing team in order to get a more stable foothold in negotiations i see what you're doing there and the player said that they had been negotiating with soccer canada for more than a year that's normally how contract negotiations go you normally start about a year out uh, being told to prepare to perform at a world-class level without the same level of support that was received for the by the men's national team in 2022 yeah when when they went to the world cup where like a billion people watched this shit how many weren't total eyeballs like four billion people watched that shit like everybody watched the world cup in some form or fashion i seen clips i don't watch a game sports is for idiots but whatever uh, training camp has been cut for the women's team yo well there's like two good women's team if we're going to be completely honest as well as the number of players and staff invited to the already limited youth program the players statement said oh that's just the player statement yeah but what about soccer canada because they actually have the numbers can you check that we expect and deserve nothing less than to be treated equally and fairly and to have our program sounds like you are because all of your programs are getting cut now that's why you probably switch to oh we want equity actually oh okay that makes sense and our world cup preparations funded appropriately yeah just keep losing then cnn has reached out to canada soccer and sports canada for comment but have not received any response by time of publication canada the reigning women's soccer olympic champion is scheduled to face the united states women's team on february 16th oh to which 
they got skunked 2-0, right? That's amazing. That's amazing. And now just using an article for when the US teams figured out their squabble last year. Like you can run the numbers exactly the same way and you're going to find out that nobody cares. Absolutely nobody cares about women's soccer. Six people do. Is the Men's World Cup watched more because US viewers want to see the United States men's team or because of other teams? In Women's World Cup watched by viewers only because they want to see the women's national team? Kind of questions that FIFA hasn't considered. Yeah, because there's kind of like hockey, okay? If I can make it an example and it's more apt in Canada as well, it's the exact same problem. Like they talked about this because there's a lack of comp or, yeah, competition in the ladies game. There's Canadian team, the U.S. team, every once in a while, the Russians and the Swedes will, fe or will field a halfway competitive team. But you can mark it. You can mark it down on your calendar right now. The Olympic final gold medal game is going to be between Canada and the U.S. That's what it has been for the past seven competitions. Like, shit doesn't change. There's nobody else on that level. Might be the exact same way for soccer. There might be a handful. I think what? In the Swedes or the Australians uh, beat the U.S. women's team? Like, there's a couple of teams. There's a handful of teams. Viewership of the men's 2018 World Cup was 3.6 times the women's 2019 World Cup. Ta-da! According to FIFA reports in 2019-2018 World Cups, but the prize earnings for the men's teams are roughly 13 times the a women's as of 2019. Yeah, 3.6 times. Yeah, the World Cup final, by the way, 1.12 billion people watched the men's final in 2018. It's just a little bit higher than, what, uh, 311 million? Just a little bit, and I'd imagine that, uh, yeah, once you can cross that billion viewership stat, you can probably command a hell of a lot more money. But that's just the final. That is simply the final. What about the entirety of the games? Oh, no. Hmm. Do you think anybody's chilling out and waiting for, what, Croatia, Mexico, the women's game? No, nah, man. It's not even close. It's not even close. No, nah, man. Instead, they just want to base all of this stuff off of emotions. Like, we just really feel like we should be paid more, and we're going to try to be as competitive. But yeah, best of luck to you. This is Canada after all, so they'll probably just bend over, grab their ankles, and give you whatever you want because we believe all women. Yuck. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.